The train, for its size, is the most powerful vehicle on land, and they power many industries. The Northwestern Railway spans across the, most of the island. This is friends. This is friends from the Northwestern Railway Adventures. <laughs> One day, Toby, Jim. And Thomas and Doc were at, at, uh, at a place at one of the docks on the aisle. And it was April 26th, and, and it was right before May, which was very busy on the island. So people were flocking to the island to and fro. There were many goods trains, too. So, and so that day they were waiting for some peculiar engines. Well, they didn't expect it. Why do we have to sit at the docks while the others get to work? I know we're overworked, but we don't want to sit around all day. Be quiet, James, or... Ah! <laughs> Told you so. Mm! James was even crosser still. He couldn't be cross for long. As the crane unloaded some peculiar engines that the engines had never seen before. What are your names? I'm Bash. I'm Dash. Said the, said the two. All right, uh, can you go? Yeah, we just need to be filled up on wood. Soon they were filled up on wood, and Toby got out of the way. As Bash raced down, and Dash raced after. Jane then saw a familiar sight. There was Lori. Just his steam. I guess that's all he could do. Uh, duck. Shunt that to that flatbed. Toby, you have to move, all right? All right. Now, you, duck. You'll have to move to Thomas James and Toby. You go on to the inside line. Oh, that goes on the outside line. Yes, sir. And stuck. Came across the line. Lori attached. What a what? You know what you are? The Lori rudely. A waddling duck on wheels. Hello, waddling duck on wheels. Have Spencer duck his steam at boat. Soon Lori was unloaded. The duck shunted the flatbed onto a siding. Talk them up. He went to the station where Oliver was. <laughs> you are. That Lori won't get a chance. And Oliver went off. But he heard a duck. But next time, duck saw Oliver. Oliver was cross. That bulgy!
and isn't friends with Lori, he came too. Lori? Friends with Bulgy and Bulgy came? How could this day get any... How could this day get any worse? Lori already bashed in into... Onto the rails, so... I know. They called me a woodling duck on wheels. Just like Spencer does. And Oliver. A few days later, Oliver was laughing again. He's taking our train. But he's using the shortcut, which means it's the mountain road. <laughs> they won't stand a chance. Laugh, duck. Excitedly. The mountain road is a steep part of the roads. <laughs> Vehicles have to tackle it. Soon, he, the engine stumbled. Whoa, the familiar. Oh no, said Gordon. Bulgy could cause an accident. Yeah, get it some rock. Let's get it off the road. And rocks were pushed onto the main road. And Bulgy left. But Lori was in for trouble. He hadn't seen the whole thing, and he did. It was too late. His driver jumped him, and Lori fell off with a bang. Luckily, none was hurt. But Lori was off the roads and out of service. Those wretched steamies, <laughs> said Lori. <clears throat> crashed onto soda railway. How bad could this day get? <coughs> said Lori as he laid on his side. Harvey soon came and put Lori back on the line and cleared some trucks out of the Harvey lifted the rubble out of the way. Well, Lori fumed <laughs> as Harvey did move those trolleys all. Soon he loaded the rock back into the trucks. Suddenly, Duck came as Avra was passing through. Just what we need. Duck, can you come closer? Yes. Harvey, I need to load the certain road vehicle onto the flatbed, and soon Duck was off. So, top of my hat was cross. Bulgy and Lori, of course, nothing since trouble to, since, you arri since you've arrived. I'll send you right where right now. Bulgy and Lori were happy. They skirted out of the way. They went to the mainland for a short while, but after a few days, they were never seen again.